In this video, I'm going to show you four things you can do to speed up Windows 7. This same procedure can be done on Windows Vista as well. This is only going to take a couple minutes to do the whole thing. Now, you don't really need to do this if you're not having any speed problems or memory problems. So if you've got a powerful computer and you've got lots of memory on it, then there's no need to do this. But if you are having some issues with lag, then you can do the following. Okay, so first of all, let's go to System and Security. We're in the Control Panel, so we'll go to Control Panel first. And now we'll go to System. And down here, Advanced System Settings. Okay, it pops up a little window like this. Okay, now from here, you need to go to the Advanced tab. And then in here, we have Performance Visual Effects. So click on Settings. And then you'll see here, let Windows choose, which is a default. Adjust for Best Appearance, Adjust for Best Performance. So if you click Adjust for Best Performance, it unchecks all of these different features here. Okay, or you can customize it if you want to keep some. What this will do is it will use less memory for you. However, I'm not going to do that on this machine because I don't need to, but like I said, if you're having issues with lag and memory, then go ahead and do that. Next, we click on Advanced, and you know, down here, Virtual Memory. What you want to do is go in here and change. And Right now, I've already done this. I've set a specific size. Okay, so when you come in here, you're going to see a system managed size. Now, what happens there is when your paging file gets full, it will create another one. So it'll sit there and create a paging file. If it gets full, it'll create another one and create another one. So it takes a lot of time for it to do that. So it can get hung up. So what you can do is look at the recommended size down here and make it about 15% bigger and then click custom size, put that number in here and click set. Okay, so that's the second thing. Okay, now the next thing we're going to want to do is go to system protection. And what we're going to do is go down to our protection settings and click configure. Okay, now you'll notice down at the bottom here there's a slider. Now if you have a system with a lot of disk space on it, you probably see this slider way over here and it could be taking up to hundreds of gigabytes of disk. Okay, if you're running short on disk, this can slow your computer down immensely. So what you can do here is knock this down to about somewhere around 5 gig. and In my case it's about 2%. Okay, and you only get a couple of restore points with that, but you don't usually want to go back further than that anyway. So once you set that and click OK, then you will retrieve a whole lot of disk space, which will help you with the speed. Okay, those are the first three ways. Now the next thing we're going to do, let's go back to the front here. This is a control panel system and security page. Now what we're going to do is go down to administrative tools and this is our last step we're going to do here. What we want to do is go into services and then you're going to look for things in here you know you don't want started. Now don't touch anything if you're not sure. However, there are some things in here that you know you're not going to need. For instance, if you have Adobe Acrobat, for instance, if you have the Adobe Reader starting up in here, you can set that to manual, okay? And then it won't start up with the computer. That way, you're saving some memory. For instance, on mine, I have turned off Apple mobile devices. Okay, so if you want to change one of them, all you do is highlight it, right click, and then you can go to properties and then down here where it says startup type you can set this the way you want now automatic delayed start is just what it sounds like it won't start when your computer first starts up but it will start a couple of minutes later so you don't get everything happening at boot time okay now 
Just by doing those four simple things, you can speed your system up significantly if you are having problems with it.